On June the 8th, the Church of England remembers Thomas Ken, Bishop of Bath and Wells, Nonjura hymn writer. Having lived in retirement at Longleat, Thomas Ken was buried here in Froome on the 21st of March 1711, and he left his chalice to be used in our parish church. Earlier in the year, our present bishop came and dedicated a new stone slab within the entrance to the parish church with words of Thomas Ken inscribed on it. O God, make the door of this house wide enough to receive all who need human love and fellowship and a heavenly Father's care, and narrow enough to shut out all envy, pride and hate. Make its threshold smooth enough to be no stumbling block to children, nor to straying feet, but rugged enough to turn back the tempter's power. Make it a gateway to thine eternal kingdom. Sadly, for the moment, the doors of our church building remain closed. But it's up to each of us to keep the doors of the community that is the church wide open. It's for us to reshape that prayer as a personal commitment. To make the doors of our hearts wide enough to welcome all. To be radically inclusive. To shut out envy, pride and hatred. To join our voices with those who protest at injustice, as Thomas Ken did in his day. And as we are called to when we see the scenes like the murder of George Floyd and so many others, when we recognise long-standing structural racism or other discrimination and injustice. To be no stumbling block to children, to take safeguarding really seriously. To be rugged enough to turn back the tempter's power, to challenge inappropriate material, fake news, corrupting ideologies on social media and elsewhere, to be prepared to speak truth to power, as Ken did. We are called to be gatekeepers of God's kingdom, welcoming, inviting, challenging, caring, prophetic and pastoral. O God, from whom all blessings flow, by whose providence we're kept and by whose grace we're directed, help us through the example of your servant Thomas Ken faithfully to keep your word, humbly to face adversity and steadfastly to worship you through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. It's a big ask. We'll make mistakes. But with God's grace, we can serve the kingdom. We can commemorate Thomas Ken. And as our lives continue to be enriched by the prayers and hymns he wrote, we can signpost people to share in that joy of God's kingdom.